Hello friends, my name is Shirmir Deshpande and today we are going to discuss eigenvalues and eigenvector calculation using power method. Power method is particularly used for estimating numerically largest or smallest eigenvalue and its corresponding eigenvector. The power method which is iterative method can be used when the matrix A of order n has linearly independent eigenvectors. The eigenvalues can be ordered in magnitude as lambda 1 greater than lambda 2 greater than or equal to lambda 3 up to greater than or equal to lambda n. So what is exactly the eigenvalue and eigenvector? We have to understand. An eigenvector of a square matrix A is a non-zero vector x such that for some number of lambda we have the following that is ax equal to lambda x. So, if we multiply the given matrix A by some vector that is x, okay, then Ax equal to lambda x where that lambda stands for eigenvalue and x stands for eigenvector. Now the first question is find the numerically larger eigenvalue of the matrix by power method. So matrix is given A equal to 1, 4, 6 minus 3, 4, 3 and 2 minus 1, 5. An initial approximation is taken to you. It is given to you x0 equal to 1, 1, 1. So how to solve this? It is very simple. In a first iteration, you have to multiply a into x0. So therefore, how to multiply this? So the multiplication of matrix is like this. 1 into 1 plus minus 3 into 1 plus 2 into 1. So this is I have written here. Then 4 into 1 plus 4 into 1 minus 1 into 1. I have written this step here. 6 into 1 plus 3 into 1 plus 5 into 1. So if you calculate, you will get answer as 0, 7 and 40. Now in a question, as it is asked to find out larger eigenvalue, so therefore, whatever answer you get here out of this, whatever will be the largest value, take it common. So here, 14 is the largest value. So therefore, take it common. So you can write like this, if I take a 14 as a common, this will be 0, then if I take 14 common from this, this but obvious it will be what, 7 divided by 14, so it is 0.5 and 14 common is taken means 14 by 14 is 1. So therefore, you can say that at the end of iteration 1, the largest eigenvalue is a 14 and the eigenvector is 0, 0.5 and 1. Now, whatever eigenvector you got in an iteration 1, that eigenvector we have to use for the calculation of next iteration. Now, for iteration 2, again we have to perform a into x0. Now, a as it is, whatever you have given in the problem. Now, instead of taking here 1, 1, 1, whatever will be a value that you will get in the iteration number 1, take this value as a x0 here. Again, do a matrix multiplication. So, after doing a matrix multiplication, you will get answer as 0.5, 1 and 6.5. Now, as in the question, largest eigenvalue is asked. So, therefore, here the largest number is 6.5. So, take 6.5 common here. So, what it will be? 0.5 divided by 6.5, you will get this answer. 1 divided by 6.5, it is 0 0.15384 and 6.5 divided by 6.5, it will be 1. So, at the end of second iteration, we can say that largest eigenvalue is 6.5 and this is what is your corresponding eigenvector. Similarly, you have to find out for iteration number 3. Now, the process is same here. So, if you observe here, you will get after doing calculation, it is 5.92304. So, this 5.92304 is the largest eigenvalue at the end of third iteration and corresponding eigenvector is also calculated. So, likewise, you have to find out iterations. Most of the time in examination, the iterations are given, means calculate up to third iteration, calculate up to fifth iteration. But by chance, if the iterations are not given, then up to which iteration we have to solve? We have to solve up to that number of iterations till we get same answer of eigenvalue in repeated iterations. Means for example, suppose in iteration number 4, I got the same answer that is 5.92304. If by chance, 
then I can say that 5.92304 is the final largest eigenvalue and corresponding eigenvector. Understood? Okay. Thank you for watching this video.